Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D button, something like this. Maybe it's this red color button, or maybe something like this where it's a green color button. It's actually a pretty simple process to create this, and let me go ahead and show you how. Let's go ahead and start off with a uh, empty slide here. And all we need to do is go into the Insert tab under Shapes. We want to draw out a circle shape. So I'm going to, there is no circle shape in the selection here so I'm going to pick out this oval shape and to draw a circle basically you just press the shift button while you uh, left mouse drag click and then just draw out a circle now that's a little bit big so let me go ahead and press the shift and kind of just resize that a little bit that's probably good enough now I don't need the outline I'm going to say no outline and I'll change the color later uh, but what we need to do now is we just need to format the shape. So all we need to do is format the shape. I'm going to go right click and go into format shape. And we have our options here. I'm going to go under effects here. And what we need to do, let me go ahead and close the shadow here. And we need to change the 3D format. So first off, I'm going to select a bevel. And the bevel that I'm going to select is this, uh, this cross here. So once that's selected, you can see there's kind of an outline of that shape right now. And what I want to do is I want to increase the width. So basically, that inner circle gets smaller. And let me go ahead and just increase it a little bit, maybe up to uh, 25. And right now, it looks like uh, we're looking at a, we have a bird's eye view of this button. So if you want to just create a button, maybe this would be enough for you. But we want to create uh, the shape itself. We want to rotate it more on its y-axis so we can see it from the side. So I'm going to go back into uh, the uh, effects here and I want to go down to the 3D rotation. Let me go ahead and click on the drop down here. And for the 3D rotation I want to change the y rotation. So I'm going to change the y rotation down. And Now you'll notice that it seems to kind of rotate it and we see the outlines of a 3D shape a little bit more of a button as you're seeing it from the side. So that kind of looks okay. So I'm going to go back up here now to the 3D format. And now I'm going to go ahead and change the height. And so the height is going to extend this out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click the up to extend it maybe up to about uh, 15. So we kind of have our shape now a little bit more. I think I'm going to increase the, the width a little bit more so because I want that inner di diameter of this circle a little bit uh, smaller. So maybe 30 will do. So we've got our shape here pretty much now. Uh, we can do some additional fine tuning. Uh, let's see what we can do for the depth. Uh, let me go ahead and increase that. Maybe I want to get a little bit, a little bit of a, a depth here in uh, the bottom portion. I think three is a little bit too much. Uh, two and a half is probably good. Now there's a lot of things you can play around now for. We can we can change the material, uh, but I'm not going to mess around with that. You can probably um, do some material adjustments here, but what I want to do is I want to change the lighting, and I want to have the lighting here at two points. So it's a two point lighting, so I can see a little bit more shadow. So the lighting kind of uh, gave a little bit more of a contrast. So I can probably adjust a little bit more of the the top bevel, maybe make it a little bit more larger. And now I'm probably just going to change the color. So if we wanted a red button, we can change the it to a red color. We have our red button here. And then maybe I can just adjust the size a little bit more. Let me see. Now that looks a little bit more like the button that we had earlier. Uh, maybe I can adjust that a little. Now since I've decreased it, maybe I can just adjust that and make it a little smaller now. Make the width a little bit smaller. So that looks a little bit more realistic. And so now I can just make a green button after I've done all the uh, fine adjustments here. Press Control D to duplicate that. Move it over here and then just change the color to green. So now I have a green button here and then I've got a green and a red button and then you can start to get a finger in there to push those buttons. So that's how you can create a 3D button. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.